Hey babes and welcome back to my channel. I know I'm not in my usual filming spot. I'm actually in the bathroom right now because it has the best lighting right now. I actually still don't have my lights set up. Haha. <laughs> but um I wanted to share with you guys. Oh my god, I'm so shaky, I'm sorry. I wanted to share with you guys my um birthday makeup and I literally got carried away with my friend and completely forgot to like film an intro and an outro. So I'm an amateur, I swear. But anyway, with all that set aside, I did my full makeup with you guys and, you know, just shared with you some tips and, like, this is, like, the makeup that I do every single time I have, like, a really special event where I want to feel my best. It's so glittery and brown and pretty and I love it. So, without further ado, make sure to subscribe if you have not already. I love you guys and let's go ahead and get started so I can show you guys how to do this look. So if these little hairs come out during this video, just ignore them, you guys. I'm sorry. But I'm going to start with the Wet n Wild um, Rose Primer Serum. I love this. It just feels so good. It feels more like skincare than like primer, which I love. Okay, so love that primer. Honestly, it feels so good. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX Away We Glow. But I love that this one has a pump. I feel like all foundations, like any kind of liquidy product should come in this kind of component. Because if you can tell, like you can always like get this out when you're like to the bottom but if you have a glass bottle like I know it's not the most like high-end way of doing things like don't get me wrong but I feel like genuinely it would be so much better if they did it like this and I avoid my nose area because I get super oily in my nose you really have to know your skin um, to like do the best makeup possible the best way that I recommend to do that is to literally just like get out of the shower, not put any product on your face and see what areas get oily, what areas get dry. And that kind of helps to figure that out. That's kind of how I, well, also I just have really oily, like a nose, it's very obvious. And my friend actually just picked up this one heck of a blot primer um, and she really liked it. So I love it. She used it when she was, um, we were together the last time. So this is what it looks like right here, and they sell this at Target and Ulta. I didn't know they sold them at Ulta, but they do. So next I'm going to jump in with two foundations. I actually picked up a deeper shade um, of the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I talked about like wanting to pick up another one, and I did. It's such a good foundation for the summertime. Really like sheer, but also full coverage. Like it's, You'll see, guys. It's definitely build like medium to buildable, I guess. I would say not sheer, um, but it wears so beautifully. It has SPF 25, which is great. And then on my nose and areas I want a little bit more coverage, I'm going to go with the Fit Me Concealer. I do have it in a different component. This is an airless pump I got from Amazon. Um, I have to say that in every video now because, you know, I don't want you guys to think that's what it comes in. But I'm going to use just an OG Beauty Blender for this. But I feel like this is going to be a really good match, especially right now that I am self-tanned. Um, when I get ready for, like, anything that is a little bit, even a little bit special... I like to make sure I'm self-tanned. It's funny because I feel like you guys really got to see me start that like self-tanning journey because I had never done it before until I did it on my channel um, for you guys and I think that's so cool. But this is like a really beautiful radiant foundation. You can still see the glow through my skin. You can still see the products underneath. Um, it's just not as cakey um, because it is a little bit more sheer. But I feel like this part right here, I need a little bit more coverage. And so I just added another pump right there. All right, definitely this is a more expensive foundation in my opinion for like the drugstore, but L'Oreal has always been a little bit more expensive for the drugstore. It's like $11, $12, but it's really good. Um, this one on the other hand, the Fit Me one is like five bucks. It's so good. But I'm just gonna take one pump of the Fit Me foundation, the matte and poreless one, and pounce it on my nose. Okay, so obviously I've gotten with concealer. My friend actually called me in the middle of that, but um, I've gone in so far with the BH Studio Pro um, concealer in the shade 104. I, it's like the more yellowy one down here. And Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. And I feel like I need a little bit more like over here. I think that's good. I don't want to overdo it on the concealer either. And you guys are like, oh my god, you overdid it. <laughs> but I don't know. For today, um, I always get my powder out before I start blending out my foundation, um, sorry, my concealer. And today, um, I'm going to use the Peach Perfect Powder. Every day, I like to use the Fit Me one, but obviously for something a little bit more special, I like to use a more expensive powder. Just because, not, not because it's expensive, but because it's good. Like, it's a good, really, really good powder. So, the, this is what the packaging looks like. I don't know if you guys have actually seen it. I was going to do um, cream contouring on my nose because that's something I normally do for, like, a more like snatch nose for like a special event 
but I actually realized I didn't bring anything for nose like cream contouring so it is what it is so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face right now I'm gonna use the California Beam and Bronzer from NYX I have mine in the shade the golden one it's such a beautiful color and you can see how like luminous it is on my finger I'm just gonna do a little swatch here for you guys really luminous bronzer but it has a really matte base so I really really love it for the face so I'm gonna use this to bronze and I'm also going to use this beautiful cheek leader palette and I'm going to use the shade Hula and Hula Caramel. For Hula and for the NYX bronzer I'm going to use um, a bigger brush just because that's kind of what I like for bronzer. I like to disperse it really well. Hula is such a good shade match for so many people um, and I think that's why it's so popular. I honestly for the longest time thought that Hula would be too light for me. But like I'm self tanned right now and like look at that like bronzing that it has done. So you guys know I love my bronzer. So I already did Hula and you can see how lovely that looks. I'm so impressed by it. Um, but I'm going to take the same brush. This is a Focolor brush. It came with the like brush set that I purchased from them when I purchased the Endless Possibilities palette. And I'm going to take this bronzer and just pop it like a little bit more closer to my cheeks and a little bit higher up. Um, I'm not like pushing it as far down. I feel like this bronzer really gives you that like sun-kissed effect really really nicely so all right and then for a light contouring i'm gonna go in with the hula caramel right here and just kind of pop it in the far like outer corners right here so next i'm gonna contour my nose i'm gonna try to be a little bit more precise with it today i'm gonna be using the i love revolution or i heart revolution glow and bronze and this is what it looks like and i think that this shade is so good for this normally i use the um butter bronzer one um, in the shade bronzer for this. I think it's really good. But I like how like this one's a little bit more cool toned maybe. But they're both really good. I just wanted to try something different. So I'm just going to try to put my nose, my brush just a little bit closer in than I normally would and be a little bit more precise to get a little bit more like of a snatched effect. So I actually am going to dust off this bake because I'm afraid that it could get cakey. I'm just going to kind of leave it there. And I'm going to go in with some highlight. Oh my god, a little lash stuck there. This is the Becca Chrissy Teigen collab. I really, really like the highlight, this one right here, in here for like my like first initial highlight. You guys know I do that. I just, um, where's my highlighting brush? I love this brush for highlighting. This is the um, BH Studio Pro 18 brush. It's just like a larger version of my favorite brush, so I love it. So what I like to do for this step is take a wet sponge. I'm going to flip my beauty blender over to make sure that it's not on the side that had foundation or anything. And I'm pouncing it against my forehead, and I like to do this before brows, which I know might be kind of strange. But I feel like if I do it before brows, it doesn't ever get in my brows. And sometimes it does otherwise, so... And I love to highlight this little section right here, and I can't do that because my I don't have very much space right here, so I just do my brows later. I feel like if you have a bigger forehead, maybe you won't want to do that. But I don't have a very large forehead at all, so I feel like I can get away with doing things I really like. I literally have like such a little forehead, like <sighs> so. I love this little palette. If you guys see it at your local TJ Maxx, which is where I found mine, definitely pick it up. Such a good little palette. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. I feel like I have... Oh, wait. Nope. Do, 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 do. I always forget. I love using this Glow Revolution before I do my brows because it doesn't get my brows dirty. And you see when you shake it up how, like, bronzy it gets. It looks so nice. I'm going to pop my straps down so it doesn't get on my um, dress. And then you can definitely see it on the skin, especially in sunlight. You can really, really tell. Um, and it covers everything in this really beautiful, like, fine... Um, bronzy <laughs> mist so I love that stuff but yeah I'm gonna do my brows off camera now at this step and we'll come back all right guys so you can clearly see we've got one eye done and the other one is bare but um, I love the way it came out I think I did a pretty decent job at recreating what I had done before I can't remember what product I use on my eye except um, one of them so we'll just get into it I am using the Jaclyn Hill palette for the majority of it, especially the matte shades. This is probably like my go-to palette for like a beautiful warm tone look. It's just, it's just my favorite one. I don't know how many of you guys already know the shades just because I was like a little bit 
crazy and I taped the top of my little PR thing that came with it as soon as I got it. I was like the first launch of this palette that I picked it up so it's a little bit beaten up as you guys can tell but um, I think, I don't, don't matter, does the new palette have the names printed on it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so. Do you want me to bring mine so you can show? No, no. I just, I, I, I'll do my, my getaway. I got it. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the shade Silk Cream and MFEO, but I'm going more in with MFEO than Silk Cream because Silk Cream is a little bit too light for like my complexion, especially like it just, it's just, eh, it's a little too light. So I kind of mix them together to get a use out of Silk Cream, but mostly I just use MFEO. And I'm taking just a really, really large fluffy brush and dusting it in the top of the um, brow bone. This is going to be my initial transition shade, and it's going to be the shade that really like gets <laughs> diminished, and you can like literally not even see it over here. But it is something that I think is super necessary and just really like makes the look come together. Um, and makes everything else blend a little bit easier. So that's the first guy. Then with an Essence Eyebinder Blush, this is again just a really large fluffy brush. I'm gonna take the shade um, Pooter and Butter, these two right here. So I started with these two now we're moving down here. I'm gonna take more of Pooter than Butter though because Butter is a little bit more like peachy um, than a little than neutral and I'm kind of trying to keep it neutral and warm rather than like peachy if you guys know what I mean so I'm gonna start creating with this shade bringing it further into the inner crease of the eye because since this is a halo eye I am gonna bring even the darkest shades to the front of the eye next I went in with the shade Roxanne <laughs> this one right here it's just like a really nice warm um, like terracotta orange and this is kind of the shade that you see the most up here, so I did bring it up, but because I have those other shades, it made it really, really easy to blend. I'm just putting a little bit less pressure on the areas on the top, like literally such light dusting motions up here to blend it out, and then down here a little bit more pressure. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha right here. It's just a really nice brownie brown shade. <laughs> and... Um, I'm taking it with my Morphe Y17 brush again, literally just another fluffy brush. This one's just a little bit more precise than the other ones. And this one I'm packing on on the outer crease and on the inner crease, but more on the outer than the inner, just because I didn't want to bring too much darkness to this inner part of my eye. Also, this brush is like a little bit too big for the inner corner, I think. So I'm not like going out of my way to make it perfect. And then just connecting it here in the center, that way whatever can show will show of this brown. But yeah, mostly I'm trying to leave this inner part open just because I don't really need those shades there. So then I'm going to go back in with the shade Roxanne and just blend out that shade one last time. And that's pretty much it for like the matte shades on the top of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I used just a little bit of my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas for this part. And I will show you guys how I do a cut crease. Um, I kind of just like line the bottom of my eye first. And that lets me know like where I have to at least make the line. I made it way higher than my natural crease um, where it folds because I want my eye to look bigger. But this at least gives me the marker of like where I need it to be so that it's at least big enough. So I look up, roll my eyes, and then you can see the marker there. But I obviously... You can see here I went higher than what it normally would do. Okay, so you guys can see here I did the cut crease and I just kind of blended it out. And I am going to use some of the shimmer shades from this Pure palette. This is like their festival palette. I basically used these two right here and a little bit of this one. I just felt like these were a little bit more intense than the Jaclyn ones. But after I put them on, I was like, no, they're not. But I already did it and I'm, did it on one eye, so I have to do it on the other eye. And I did spray these because I'm using them on a brush. This brush is actually from Luxie and it's one that came with the same like Foxy Charm at the time. And I'm basically picking up the shade piece right here. I'm packing it on the like lower and outer parts of the eye. So that was like the first step that I did. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Psychedelic, which is this like true gold. And I put this one more in the center to brighten it up. Next, I went in with my Jennifer Lopez Inglot Collection 
pigment in the shade um, Blazing Rose. This is such a beautiful pigment. It is such, I've never, never seen a pigment like it. It's honestly like my favorite thing in the world. Um, and I would use glitter glue, but I don't know what I did with mine. I'm just taking this like loose glitter eyeshadow. I found this one on, I think Amazon or eBay, honestly, don't remember. And I'm packing it on, not for the pigment, but so that I can like get my lid a little bit tacky. Um, to go in with the JLo one because the JLo one is basically going to cover that up. So I'm actually, before I do the little liner up here, I'm going to take the same brush and a little bit of shade Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just blend out. But then I went in with this Folklore liner. Um, again, this is in the shade, it's their heavy metallic eyeliner in the shade Platinum. They have a few different shades. This one is like their first one and it's so nice and basically I'm just going to draw on this little line right here. Alright, so that is the top lash line basically complete. All I did was add some very thin liner, mostly to disguise my lash band and not get so much fallout on it because that tends to happen when you use like a loose pigment or a glitter shade. And then I'm just going to do my lower lash line for you guys. I haven't done a lower lash line this dark in a minute. I'm going to use this brown eyeliner from LA Girl. This is their Perfect Precision Eyeliner in the shade brown. Hello. I did line the top of my eye as well. But like you can see just how much like liner and lashes opens up the eye. Um, I feel like right now my eye kind of droops down and like those lashes really like lift my eye. So, so I'm just running this brown liner on the bottom waterline of my eye. So I actually started with a deeper shade than Mocha on the lower lash line to match the intensity of the liner. And it was shade Central Park, which is like this really deep, deep brown right here. And what I did is I just ran it in the lower lash line, like exactly where the liner is, but just like a tad below it. And I stopped right about where my pupil is when I look at myself in the mirror. So I stopped like right here. Then with a pencil brush, this one is um, one of my Amazon brushes that I purchased. Um, and I'm going to take this shade um, Mocha again and just line the bottom of my eye. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. Mariana just yawned. She's like sitting here waiting for me to be done with my makeup. And basically I just went windshield wiper and blended that out, blown it out, make it all like smoky and pretty. I'm going to go back in with the shade Hillster right here, which is that like terracotta red purple, what? Purple? <laughs> um, terracotta brick orange color. Oh my god, purple, what? Where did my mind go? And we're almost done. I literally went in with one more shade and I feel like I don't want to chip you guys if I did it on the side we're going to do here. So I went in with the shade Pooter, and I just ran it a little bit lower, like right under the fold of the crease of my eye, to kind of blend everything out. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and line my eye, pop some mascara and lashes on this eye. I'm using AliExpress lashes in the style, this is in the style A01, and this is what they look like. Oh, goodbye. All right, so yeah, I'm taking the shade Free Spirit and popping it in the inner corner. I mean, eyes are complete. Bronze are pretty much all that's done. So I'm just going to go and move on into highlight. So first, I'm going to go in with my Amrezy and Anastasia collab. I'm also just going to highlight my nose with this one. So I'm just going to wet my cheek. And I'm just going to pick up my Morphe Y14 highlighting brush and pack it on. This is one of my favorite highlighters, but because it was limited edition, I'm like crazy and I don't wanna like use it, you know what I mean? So then, y'all know I'm obsessed with this highlighter, but I like never even barely use it because I'm crazy. This is the JLo Inglot highlighter in the shade Radiant, Radiant, that's it. This is what it looks like, super pretty loose highlight. I feel like it looks like the I'm raising one just like powder form. And you see how much more intense that one is? It's just because it's a loose pigment rather than a pressed, but it's such a good highlight. So I'm gonna use 
not mine. This is Mariana's Sephora Sephora, Sephora blush palette. Mm -hmm. And I think it's light medium. Light medium. Light medium. We're gonna go with that. Um, I think I'm gonna use these two. This one's a little bit more like radiant and has a little bit more sheen, and this one is just like matte and pretty, and I like it. <laughs> I like this color right in the center. I don't know if I'm going to use another one. That looks lovely. And you can see like right here in this area it has toned down the highlight. Just because of how I blended it out. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Precision Lip Liner in the shade Cafe. This one is like a little bit darker than my natural color which is perfect. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is like her original shade. I like it a lot because it honestly like gives that like brownie nude color. Then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Villains Lippy in the shade Puppies. This is the Carla DeVille one, and it just looked so pretty. We like her. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Okay. So that's it. I just used lip liner and that lipstick and, or that lip gloss, and I'm obsessed. It's so nice. So we're done. I just need to set my face. So I'm going to set it with the Morphe spray first. But I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Ray. I love this one. I actually used this one on my wedding day. Alright guys, so I'm still in the bathroom. That'll be my outro. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I seriously love this look. It is honestly like one of my favorite things to do. And I did go ahead and toss on some body glow. You guys can see it in the light. But yeah, um, this is the end of the video. We're going to go out now and celebrate my 22nd birthday. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one.